Hi guys, Remake One out here, and today we're going to be playing some more Asphalt 9. Now, uh, let me just quickly reposition these icons. Okay, there we go. Um, so basically, the new update has been having these series of uh, multiplayer, well, series, and these all literally last for one day. Um, and some of these series are uh, shaped like this, where you have like all the new cars uh, maxed out. So I thought I would take advantage of that and give him a try and see how all these cars are. So let's do this. First of all, we got the Ballwell MKX Nagari 500. That is a very long name. Um, this is a C-Glass car. Uh, I think this is the car that you. No, wait, no, it's not. Um, th that's a different car. Um, but yeah, this is th this car. I think you can get in a car hunt, although that hasn't happened yet so it might not be a car hunt but like there have definitely been blueprints blueprints of this car like sprinkled all over the place so I don't know how you can actually unlock this uh, just yet um, I'll probably like get packed for it or something uh, anyways it seems like I'm the only one using the ball well and uh, honestly that's to be expected everyone else is using uh, the, the higher end cars um, so yeah I think Th this car definitely seems to be pretty good in C class. Like, it's not up. It's like kind of. It's kind of the middle of C class. It's really not. It's it's not up there with with the best, but it's not really that bad either. So it's kind of in the middle. Uh, I don't think any of the cars in this update are perfect nitro cars. So let's just let's just see what this car's top speed is. I, I I've driven all these cars before, in uh, in like the first of these like one day series. It was exactly in this, in this exact format. I still remember, you know, but it's been a while, so I don't remember exactly. Okay, so this car does 203 miles per hour. Yeah, 203 miles per hour. And that's actually enough to get us third place. Pretty nice. Especially because we were going, going up against, like, pretty much all S-class -class cars, save for that one, Pure Italia, which is B-class. Uh, moving on, though, the next car... Um, is another C-class car, and it's called the Brabham BT62. Now, this car I've actually I've, I've actually heard of. Like, the theme for this the update is basically cars that you've never heard of before. Um, cause and yeah, majority of these cars have, are they are new to me. Like Arash, Arash is a new company to me, and the Brabham Brabham isn't either. So yeah, this is so yeah. I've, um, this is the BT62. This is a uh, key car. Uh, which there's going to be a Grand Prix for. Currently, there's a Grand Prix for the Arash, um, which is going on right now. It's a Looper Prix, and honestly, the Looper Prix is not that bad. It's actually quite competitive, and it definitely gives, it definitely makes the competition a lot closer. Considering uh, everyone is, you know, going as fast as they possibly can, thanks to the slipstream. Um, however, the the thing about Looper Prix is that, like in all Grand Prix, you can see how. Um, you, you can check other people's times and then then uh, compete against their ghosts, like to see how they got those times, and then like and you know implement those methods into your into your own uh, times. However, you know the Looper Prix kind of sacrifices that and replaces it with your own um, you racing against your own ghost. Um, so as much as much as it is uh, cool that you can that you're racing against your own ghost and your own ghost is private in the stream. Um, you don't get you don't get to see how other people actually actually do their times, so which means which means Looper Prix are actually much more out. Oh, I really messed up there. Uh, as I was saying though, uh, Looper Prix are actually much more difficult because of this. Like, uh, oh yeah, this car does two hundred eight miles per hour. By the way, uh, again another another one of, another one of those middling C class cars. Uh, oh gosh, being bumped by this. That guy behind us. There's another. Oh, there's another Brabham. I didn't realize. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, so yeah, Looper Prix are d uh, definitely much more harder than Grand Prix. Not because, uh, not only because of um, the the co the closer competition, but also because of the fact that you don't get to see how other people did. Okay, next car, the uh, the Arash AF8 Falcon Edition. Um, so yeah, this is this is the first B class car out of the bunch, and it, yet again, it kind of feels like just a, it's it's just another middling B class car, like 
Oh, honestly, most of these cars are pretty middling. Except except for the, the S-Class cars, but we'll get to those in a bit. Okay, so yeah, it's all S-Class cars, except for the one other Arash. Well, that's just the end of the only Arash. The, the, one, the, the my favorite part about this Arash is that one of its one of its stock colors is purple. And honestly, purple looks good. Looks pretty good on, on this car. Yes, it, it actually has like a lot of stock cars. Uh, so uh, stock cars, no stock colors. Like there's a whole selection, and honestly, they all look pretty good. It's pretty tough to choose between them. Same thing goes for the Vision Seventeen Eighty Nine. That car also looks really good with all the stock car colors that it has. Mainly because these are they're like two tone colors. Like I really like the gold accents on that car. They're they're pretty. They, they look, it makes it look pretty cool. Okay. Oh, that was a weird bounce. Okay, so can't reach this top this car's top speed yet because we're still in a kind of twisty sort of section. Okay, let's try and oh gosh, but this touch neck is going crazy. Okay, we are going now. We're going we're arriving on the straight finally. Okay, uh, 250 miles per hour. Is perfect nitro? No, just I thought. Oh gosh, just got bullied by that guy. Well, I mean, he's 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 literally much much faster than me. Like I think 40 miles per hour to be exact. Because I do remember the Tushek does like I think 250 miles, 255 miles per hour at max. Uh, it's not perfect nitro either, because like I, I, out of all these cars, I've driven that one the most, because you know it's the, the best one out of the bunch. Uh, going back to the Arash, um, again another, as I said, another, another kind of middling sort of car. Not too bad, not, but not, not too bad, but not outstanding either. Okay, now we move on to the Puritalia Berlinetta. This is a, another B class car. Uh, if you pay for the election pass, you can get this car from it. Uh, four, four thousand, over four thousand rank at max. Um, so honestly, this is definitely one of the better B class cars. Again, or one of the best, but definitely on the uh, higher end, unlike the Arash. So uh, let's see. I haven't, I haven't driven this car in a while either, so I don't know how this one will perform. Again, I've got a bunch of S class, S class cars to put up against. Honestly, we've actually been, we've actually been. Uh, putting up against them pretty well, like I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I'm actually like surprisingly well, cause like considering these, those cars go over two hundred fifty miles per hour, um, at max speed, it's pretty surprising we're actually able to keep up. Anyways, let's see how the, let's see how this car performs. Oh gosh, the lag. Oh my gosh, it's really, really lagging right now. So yeah, two hundred twenty-five miles per hour. This car goes. Um, so yeah, definitely much better than the Arash, obviously. Oh gosh, I'm moving the barrel. Don't want that to happen. Oh no! Well, I was grinding. Did you see that? I was grinding the rail there, but unfortunately, um, now we're way behind. So, yeah, that didn't exactly go well. Why is it lagging so much all of a sudden? Like, this is really weird. Like, the previous races, it was, they were absolutely fine, but now it's just... Like, it's, it's, it's like a really fast slideshow. Can we catch up with this guy here? Seems like we can, but we are all over the place. Again, thanks to the lag. Uh, we did get, we did, we, we just get one rating, but I mean, at least, you know, as, I, as I've said before, any game is a good game. Um, so yeah, as it, but going back to the pre -retalia, uh, oh. Oh no, it's an ad, hold on, let me skip this. Okay, thank god for the, the ad's gone now, but like, yeah, it's, it's kind of disappointing. Like lately, there have been uh, these uh, video ads popping up. Like before, it was just pictures, and that's fine. Like it just pops up for a second, uh, like a couple seconds. They can just press the the X and like make it go away. But now they now they're actually videos, um, and they've been popping up like a lot lately. It's kind of disappointing, honestly. At first, like at first, there was like no ads whatsoever, and that was, and and you know, but then the ads started popping up, and that's when everything started going downhill. Yeah, honestly, I I really I really don't like the fact that there are ads now in this game. I I know it's to be expected, but I mean, like come on, come on, Game Loft. You there, for the longest time there were like no ads whatsoever. So I mean, I don't know why you would suddenly want to have ads in your game when clearly it was doing fine without any. Yeah, anyways, uh, moving on from that rant, we now have the Vision Seventeen Eighty Nine, the first two S class cars of the bunch, and this is definitely very close. I would say it's pretty close to the. 
uh, Tushek in terms of performance. Like, it does 250-something miles per hour, like, pretty close to the Tushek's 255. I think it's 252. Uh, again, we're, just gonna, we're gonna have to see a little bit. But again, I'm just lagging so much, like, what the heck? Why? Ah! Oh, god dang it. Okay, I don't know what it is with this all this lag, it's like... It's, it's like, really, really bad. It's hard to concentrate. Anyways, yeah, it's 252 miles per hour. Uh, de this car definitely handles really well. Like, ha handling um, and acceleration are pretty good. And nitro efficiency is actually pretty good too. So I would say this is definitely a, a very well-rounded car. Um, and also, what are what are the, what are the uh, higher end ones? Uh, pretty close to the Tushik in terms of performance. Like, it could it could put up a really good fight against that car. Uh, speaking of which, now we have the Tushek. The Tushek TS TS900 Racer Pro. Again, quite a long name. Uh, this car only comes in one color, and that's white, which is which is kind of annoying, honestly. Uh, but I mean, oh well. It does it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty nice. And obviously, this is definitely the most the best car out of the bunch. It gives it gives me kind of Lamborghini vibes, especially when you look at it from the back. It kind of looks like uh, the Huracan from the back, like ish ish. Okay, so we, uh, again we're putting up against a bunch of S-Class cars, it's, um, save for the Puritalia and the Ballwell, surprisingly enough. Okay, we're in a Saka. Rat Race, I think, is the one with all the curves and stuff, so this is not going to be... Oh, wait, no, it's not that. <laughs> okay, was, it's a different track. Okay, so this one, this this should be that bad. Actually, no, wait, no, I was right, it, it is the one with all the curves and stuff. Actually, there's not... Uh, I, I, I recognize this track from Grand Prix, from the Grand Prix races. I, I remember playing this before. Oh my god, I lag. I really gotta be careful here. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's really lagging now. I could barely even concentrate with this. Anyways, so yeah, this does 250 miles per, 5 miles per hour. Handling obviously really good. Acceleration, pretty good as well. Uh, nitro efficiency is obviously it's worse that top speed um, because you know it's a top speed of car, but it, it gets up to it gets up to its top speed pretty well, and we actually was able to take the win there. You, you even despite all that lag. So yeah, again, again, pretty high end S class car, very pretty close, to, very close to the vision in terms of performance. Like obviously the Tushek wins out overall, but. The two, the two are they can butt, butt heads quite often. Uh, anyways, uh, that's gonna be all the cars, and as well as the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, other YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.